A mother and daughter found dead this morning after fire tore through their Akron home. Tonight, a message which could save your life. Firefighters did not find any smoke detectors in the home, something they say could have changed the outcome. News Channel 5's Bob Jones is live on 5 at the scene tonight. Bob, such a sad story, and you talked with family members today. That's right, Lee, and the mother and daughter were found in separate bedrooms up on the second floor of this home in the North Hill neighborhood of Akron. Firefighters and family members say it appears they were sleeping and overcome by heavy smoke, and without a warning from a smoke detector, they never woke up. I cannot comprehend it. I'm surprised I'm even crying. I've cried so much. And it's Hard. Family members are dealing with sudden grief and shock after thick smoke filled this two story Akron home and took the lives of Elaine Sorrow and her daughter, Jennifer Barlow. She was very loved by everybody, friends, neighbors. Melford Barlow is Elaine's ex husband and Jennifer's dad. He says Jennifer had a job cleaning homes and loved picnics and hiking. I never thought of anything would happen like this in my family. I thought everybody would die of old age, but I guess not. Elaine worked in the Akron Distribution Center for the U.S. Postal Service. Charlotte Sigmund is a co worker who also delivers Elaine's mail. Charlotte described Elaine as a friendly person, an animal lover, and was deeply saddened when she learned of the tragedy. I wasn't prepared for it, let's just say that. It just blew me away when I found out. It, just, it wouldn't have been good no matter who it was. The blaze started on the first floor, and smoke filled the second floor bedrooms where the women were sleeping. Firefighters wish the home had smoke detectors in it, but didn't find any. Not to have one in a house is very sad. It possibly could have saved two, two lives tonight. Now relatives are forced to deal with the harsh reality of what they'll miss. Her smile, her laughing. A mother and daughter gone suddenly and too soon. She's going to be missed by a lot of people, just not her family. She's going to be missed by a lot of people here in Akron and Canton. And tonight we are told a family dog also died in the fire. Investigators with the fire department spent much of the day sifting through the debris, trying to find a cause of this tragic fire. No answers tonight, but the fire department told me there are no obvious signs of foul play, and the family believes this was accidental. On your side, live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Okay, Bob, thank you.